What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with an episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for August already. Where the hell did the summer go? The series we show off some of the best tech you can find under that price. And if you see anything you'd like today, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. But also shout out the last month's winners. I've been in contact with you. I commented on your comment from last month's episodes. So you can claim your tech. And that episode did so well, I picked 10 winners instead of five. And if you want to win today, all you got to do is drop a thumbs up down below, leave a comment on what your favorite item is and why you like it. And then lastly, make sure you subscribe because I'm obviously only going to pick subscribers. So first up, this is a really cool desktop lamp, and it may look familiar from when I showed this off last year in a back to school tech video, but it's dropped in price significantly to under 50 bucks for the series. One of the things that I like about it is the built-in digital clock on the rotating lamp head. So depending on how you have this angled or where you're sitting, you have a clock there at a glance for you, but that's not all. The base of the lamp has all your touch controls. So there's a touch slider, and this lets you adjust the brightness of the lamp. Above that is the color temperature for adjusting between a really warm looking light or a cool glow, or like a middle daylight color temperature. Then above that's an auto button, which uses a built-in sensor to get an ambient reading of the room, then it'll use that to adjust the lamp accordingly for you and your setup. Personally, I think it's really cool. And as a desktop solution, when you have the clock facing you, and then it's just throwing light onto the wall behind it when the lamp is facing inward, I really dig that design. And overall, it's just a nice soft glow. So it's not harsh or anything either. And there is an app for this if you wanna download that to control the light remotely but it's kind of pointless. I just downloaded it to sync the clock and then deleted it. So yeah, overall the sleek look mixed with the practical and useful features, this could definitely be a solid pickup to add to your desk or the bedroom. It's currently under $50 when you add the active $20 coupon code on Amazon, bringing it right to that sweet spot. Now, next up, I got this massive Steam Deck bundle. This isn't under $50, it's actually free. Yeah, so you can win this for free and get tech in today's episode starting at just $1, all with today's sponsor, Whatnot. Whatnot's an online social marketplace where you can discover some of your favorite products like sports cards, Pokemon cards, electronics, and tons of other things, all with these rapid fire auctions happening real time. Here you can bid on things like Bose headphones, AirPods, PC components. I've seen a bunch of CPUs on sale with a ton of these auctions kicking off at just $1. Speaking of a dollar, the tech from today's episode will be up for grabs starting at just $1 next week, August 11th. I'll be going live at 7 p.m. Eastern right on the WhatNot app so you can come by, hang out, bid on a bunch of things at a dollar. And like I showed before, we're gonna have some pretty big giveaways. People have gotten AirPods for free. We gave away a Razor Viper Mini Signature Edition. Hell, last stream, someone got a $400 plus amp DAC bundle for like $220. And that's the beauty of these rapid fire auctions. People get absolute steals. So I'll put a sign up link for you in the description down below. Definitely come by and hang out during our stream. You'll also get $15 off your first purchase with the link down below. Again, you don't wanna miss out. Now we have Razer's brand new $40 Cobra mouse. This is the spiritual successor to the Razer Viper Mini and at just 58 grams with optical switches and an optical sensor, the value here is actually pretty damn impressive. Now, yes, if you watched my review of the wireless Cobra Pro, you may be wondering, you know, why I've been showing this off. But the fact is, this is a very different mouse than the wireless one. It's extremely affordable, it's way lighter, and it has the same ambi shape that used of the old Viper Mini loves. So I can definitely recommend this one at the price. This uses Razer's Speedflex cable, which is very lightweight, much like a paracord. And even though I haven't used a wired mouse personally in like four years, I do know there's plenty of people out there who still do. Now to combat that, got a little two for one here, Pulsar recently released a brand new version of their mouse bungee. This is the Micro ES. You feed your mouse cable into the flexible arm, it then locks into the base of the bungee, and you stick this underneath your monitor, for example. Now, the bungee will keep the cable elevated, making it feel wireless, as there's no resistance or drag whatsoever to any of your mouse movements. Inside the bungee, it uses this ball bearing, so the arm will actually move and flex along with your movements, again, giving it that wireless feeling now with the cable being elevated and out of the way. The bungee's only like $6, so I figured I'd show it off along with the Cobra. But yeah, back to the mouse real quick. At 58 grams, it still manages to have RGB underglow and the Razer logo is illuminated. Plus you have side buttons and a dedicated DPI button up top. 
Underneath, it uses 100% PTFE feet for a super smooth glide on your mouse pad. The sensor here is limited to just 8500 DPI with their optical sensor, but that should still be more than enough for most people. You'd like to see it go higher, sure, but then again, it's only a $40 mouse. But at least they are using the Gen 3 optical switches that are lightning fast, literally at just 0.2 millisecond actuation with no debounce delay, and they feel really nice to use as well. Again, for those who love the old Viper Mini, this is the newer version, better specs, it's lighter, all for a super fair price of just $40. So whether this is for somebody getting into PC gaming and don't wanna break the bank on a mouse, or someone who just doesn't wanna fully go wireless yet, this could definitely be for you. Next up are a killer set of topographic keycaps from High Ground. You all know my love for this design, and the keycaps here are five-sided die subcaps in this snowstone color, where it's the black lines on the white caps. But they also make this in different color options. We have a seafoam color, that's kind of like a tan and a mint colorway, as well as a black ice color, that's all black caps with the white accented lines. The best part is these keycaps are only $50 and they have a 20% coupon code to knock $10 off. This is a hell of a deal for a great set of looking keycaps at just $40. These sets are a full 123 key layout with both ANSI and ISO support. And they even have bonus novelty caps included for taking customization to the next step. You can put these on your full-size keyboard, a TKL, and a 60%, so the three main layouts that most gaming companies produce keyboards in. The character legends are printed on the front of the caps, so it gives that top-down view of your board, that true topographic print pattern, and altogether, just the quality of the printing here is really nice. Between the three different colored sets they make, you can surely elevate your keyboard and take it to the next level to stand out. I'm really liking the snowstone caps they have, and it looks good on both a black or a white keyboard. For $40, you really can't beat that price. Now, this one is crazy cool. From Five Fine, this is their Ampligame SC3. This is a mixer for gaming, streaming, podcasting, anything. So checking it out, this compact mixer is pretty flashy at first with all the buttons glowing and the audio meters, you have your sliders there, but there's a lot of really cool things. Built in on the front, you have 12 soft touch buttons like you see on a mini pad with four sliders. And on the backside for your IO, you have a USB-C to connect it to your PC, a line out, headphone, line in, and a headset jack, and a mic toggle there to go along with the XLR for your mic between a dynamic and a condenser mic. All right, so now I'll bring you through a demo of the SC3 in real time to fully show you how it works versus just talking about it in B-roll. Giving you now a demonstration of it would give you a better idea of all that it can do. So one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is up top you have these volume level indicators. And this is to show you what your levels are at real time instead of having to look at like OBS or something. If you don't have that pulled up, this will give you a rough estimation of what your actual mic levels are. And you can see it goes from green to orange to red when you're peaking. And then on the fly, you could just turn it down a little bit, turn it back up. Real quick and easy volume adjustment there. Definitely like that. And you'll also notice I have the 48 volt button enabled. This is for enabling phantom power. So if your microphone requires it, which this one does to be adequately powered, you know, you can turn that on and now you have 48 volt phantom power. You'll also notice a second audio metering level up top, right next to the mic levels. And that's so when you put on headphones, you could hear yourself. You have real time mic monitoring, so you could hear side tone real time. And when I mean real time, I mean it. There is zero delay. The second you talk, you hear it back in your headphones. That's why I have the mic monitor button enabled here, which is why it's lit up white. And then it shows me the levels of my headphones right next to it up top. So if I wanna turn down a bit, maybe I don't wanna hear myself too loud, I can turn that down. If I wanna really hear myself, I can turn it back up a little bit. So yeah, definitely, definitely cool. That is exactly real time with no delay. That is a huge feature for an audio mixer like this to have, and uh, it does so really, really well. Now there's a few different effects and stuff you can do on here. As you can see, it has this RGB sort of effect going on with the buttons being illuminated, and there's a slight underglow um, on the front lip as well. And you could fully turn it on and off if you don't want any RGB. And there's also a few different, you know, like color effects, like sweeping modes, breathing modes, 
And you can also just make the entire uh, mixer one static color if you want to match it to a certain color theme of your setup. You have that option. I'll leave it on the RGB mode since that's most, you know, visually appealing to most people out there, especially for the camera, right? All right, now for actual built-in effects, you have this electric mode. This is just a pitch corrector. You can hear now, it's uh, pretty much like, I don't know, um, what's that stuff called, auto-tune. You have 12 different pitches built in from A to E, B. So if you want to enable these, you can. I don't really find them necessary. Uh, to disable an effect, you hold the button in, and now you could hear it's back to my normal voice. And speaking of my normal voice, if I didn't want it to be that, we have a change voice button. This does things like have a very deep male voice. There's also a female voice effect because they forgot the E or they couldn't fit in the E, so it's female instead of female. And again, you just hold the button in if you want to change it on and off. There's three others. You now have this monster sound effect, which is very deep, dark, demonic. A baby sound effect, very Elvin and the Chipmunks. And then... And you have Elder, which is still deeper, not so demonic, very uh, Tyler the Creator Goblin era. Now you'll also notice there's four more buttons with custom A, B, C, and D. And these four custom buttons let you loop and create your own sound effects like a sound board all in real time. You could record your voice and loop them, different sound effects. If you want to hook this up to a different device with like the line in, you could use it for like, you know, music, sound effects on your PC, then save it all on here and have them looped. So I'll show you in real time what that means. Say I want to create a sound effect in my voice with like the female thing. And uh, I have that now. So when I hold in custom A, it will save whatever I say and it'll light up to let me know it's recording. So to show you, what's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. You better hit that subscribe button. Now when I hit custom A. What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. You better hit that subscribe button. So definitely really cool that it lets you do that. No software needed, all done on the fly, on the device itself four different custom buttons and again not only your voice but for sound effects creating like a soundboard here pretty much with the options you have with the line in for creating whatever effects you want it's really a, a simple device it's laid out very user friendly you have all the mute options if you don't want to turn the sliders down you can just mute them on the fly as well and uh yeah really really impressive the Fifine Ampligame SC3 for under $50, I think, is hands down one of the best cool tech deals out there for this price. So much so that it's the next inductee into the Cool Tech Under 50 Hall of Fame. Then lastly today is a simple wall clock because nothing says timeless like a classy brawn clock as functional decor. They come in a black, gray, and a white color as you can see. And the super simple design is always something that I've loved from Braun's historic design language, and it makes them stand out still today. I'm sure some of you are probably like, dude, it's just the clock. And if you're like 12 or something, then you can go ahead and skip right out of here. But I know some of you out there will definitely appreciate this. What I really like, and you may not have even noticed this, but the second hand doesn't tick. It has this silent sweeping floating effect motion where it's always smoothly circulating with no ticking. And that just adds to the overall aesthetic of it. The tip of the second hand is yellow in all three designs, which is the only splash of color besides the main color of the clock. And this is so that you can actually see it, because all three options are so clean that the hands of the clock would just otherwise blend in with that inner ring. In terms of size, it's 30 centimeters in diameter or just under a foot. And honestly, wherever you put this, it'll stand out. So for just under $45, not the most exciting thing, this will definitely be a nice pickup or a gift for somebody who appreciates design. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under $50 for August. Hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, I'll have links for everything you saw today listed in the description down below so you can check them out. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter or X at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.